Investigators say there's no link between missing Nelson County teen Alexis Murphy and Jesse Matthew Jr. That's the man charged with abducting UVA student Hannah Graham. CBS 19's Stefan Dingle spoke with the family of Alexis Murphy and joins us live now with more on their reaction. And Stefan, what are they saying tonight? Well, Rachel, I spoke with the aunt of Alexis Murphy, Trina Murphy, earlier today, and she said simply she's not surprised by today's developments and that it proves that Randy Taylor is the only man responsible for what happened to Alexis. It's, it's not a surprise to us. DNA testing by the FBI finds that there is no forensic link between Jesse Matthew Jr. and Nelson County teen Alexis Murphy. But according to Trina Murphy, it was expected. I really don't think we were anticipating as a family that it would come back um, with any of his DNA in her car. The request to determine if there was a DNA link between Matthew and Murphy. Do you wish to have an attorney to represent you? Yes. Was made by Michael Hallahan. The attorney for Randy Taylor, who was convicted for the abduction and murder of 17 year old Murphy. Taylor had claimed that he saw a black man with Alexis the night she disappeared. And he meant that, even in our interview with him after his conviction. He knows what happened. He knows he was there. But in court, that man was cleared. Still, when Jesse Matthew was charged with abducting Hannah Graham last year and linked to the disappearance of Morgan Harrington, Randy Taylor and his attorney believe Matthew may have been connected to Alexis as well. But it turns out that he's not. You know, this just is one, one more step to prove that he is ultimately the sole person responsible for her disappearance. Gotcha. Taylor was the last known person to have contact with Murphy before she disappeared in August of 2013. And Trina Murphy says she knows that he did it. Um, you know, my plan is to make sure that he knows we're not going away. I'm going to do my best to write to him and reach out to him and. Um, for lack of a better word, harass him until he gets tired of hearing from me. Trina Murphy and the family aren't allowed to have contact with Taylor until the appeals process is complete, which Trina says she's been told that should be sometime in the spring. Live in the news, Flex to Find Dingle, CBS 19 News.